Have you ever been wondering how to spot a Louis Vuitton fake bag? Stay tuned, I'm gonna show you how right now. Welcome back to my channel. I am Katie, the designer babe, and today I'm so excited to show you how to spot a fake Louis Vuitton bag. It is something that I have been trained in for over 12 years and today I'm really excited to show you some of my pro tips on how to know a fake from a real. Let's get started. The first pro tip that I'm gonna give you is we want to look at the print. The print on the Louis Vuitton monogram canvas is very important into seeing how it lines up on the bag. The first thing that you wanna look for is the color. The color of the bag is so important when trying to figure out if it's a counterfeit or an authentic bag. On a authentic Louis Vuitton monogram bag, you're gonna find that the color is more of a rich brown color with some gold undertones. Usually a lot of the counterfeit stuff has kind of like a green or a gray tint to it, and that is one of the biggest factors that you can look for when trying to spot a real versus fake. The second thing you wanna look for is the date code, or AKA it's birthday. Uh, the different Louis Vuitton bags actually have date codes. Now I will tell you that moving forward, Louis Vuitton has actually foregone the date codes on the little leather tabs or the embossing or the little letters on the side. That is due to them just trying to cover their boundaries and make sure that they can stop counterfeits. So now each bag will actually be microchipped and only Louis Vuitton CAs have the technology in order to scan that bag. Don't worry it's not a GPS thing you don't have to worry about being tracked it is literally just a QR code scan bar thing that they scan to basically verify that it's an authentic bag and that it came from LVMH but in vintage bags and bags up until 2020 in the beginning of 2021 you will find what is called a date code which is a birthday for the bag and usually it will start out with two letters and those two letters actually indicate the country that the bag was made so you'll see like ca and different letter combinations that basically denote if it was made in france or spain or usa or switzerland or germany all these different places that the bags could be made that there is different manufacturers for the third thing that you want to look for is the stitching. Stitching on a Louis Vuitton bag is so important. You can always tell like on the top of a bag, the stitching should only be about five stitches and it's a really nice thick stitch. They use beeswax and a really hefty thread in order for it to be consistent. The stitches should actually be the exact same width apart from each other as well. The fourth thing you wanna look for is the hot stamp, which is the beautiful Louis Vuitton logo that is usually embossed on the front or the side of your bag. One thing you wanna look for here is the O in the word Louis and Vuitton. Usually on counterfeits, the O will look more as a zero where it has a little bit more of an oval shape to it versus a perfectly symmetrical O. You wanna think of this as a circle. The second thing you wanna look for in that hot stamp are the T's. So the T's should be very, very short and they'll be very close together. Usually on fakes or counterfeit goods, you're gonna find that they're spaced out from each other a little bit more than what the authentic ones are and that they're just not going to be consistent. They may have more of a linear look to them instead of just very kind of proportionate across rectangularly. The fifth thing that you wanna look for is the hardware. Now, Louis Vuitton has a couple different hardwares that they've used over the years. On vintage styles, you're gonna see a nice yellow brass with green undertones. So then you actually wanna be looking for the green. It's not gonna be orangey, super, super gold. It's gonna have a little bit more of that antique look to it with that green undertone. Now on vintage hardware, usually they just use the LV. On newer pieces, they're using the full monogram on a YKK zipper, and it will actually be spelt out Louis Vuitton. Now there's a variation of that now in the market on different things, but those are two things you wanna look for and make sure that they are not with the really yellowy looking pieces to them. You'll even find some that are 
so far-fetched where they look like they've been screen printed on and not actually embossed. The sixth thing I want to give you guys um, some advice on here is the smell and the touch of the bag. This is so important. I know it may sound very cliche, but this is so important when it comes to actually having the bag. The smell of the bag is so important. You should smell something clean. You should smell maybe some leather if there's some vaqueta on it, but you should never smell chemicals or plastic. Those are two huge indicators. I can usually tell just by opening a box what the aroma is going to indicate, authentic or counterfeit. The last thing I wanna to give to you guys is the price. This is probably the biggest piece of advice that I can give you because if your bag is only going to be, let's say $50 or $100 for a bag that should be like $3,000, it's probably too good to be true. Go with your gut on that. If it's only that price, you know it's not authentic. I hope that you enjoyed some of these quick tips on how to spot a real versus fake Louis Vuitton bag. Make sure to subscribe down below and you'll get notifications for all my new videos going forward. And catch me on the gram at, at the designer babe and check out all these beauties on designerarmcandy.com. Thanks for signing in.